Uh, there'll be a quick tutorial on uh, different things you can do with Zush, um, how to move around uh, by using uh, Awesome, and uh, how to sort of utilize um, the display manager uh, so you don't have to use the mouse essentially, so you can do everything via the keyboard. Uh, the Windows key is also known as the Meta key. Um, so the Meta key is generally used as a starting point uh, between all of your different control buttons. Uh, usually you'll be using Control, Shift, Alt, Space and Enter. Uh, and then there's also some extra keys to do specific things as well. So if we want to open a new terminal, use the Windows key and Enter. Uh, and then as you see that opens a new terminal. Uh, you can keep doing this uh, and you'll keep opening more terminals. Like so, you push the Windows key Shift and C you'll close the current window that you're in. And the current window that you're in you'll see because it's got this sort of line around it which shows you the, the perimeter of that particular terminal and it's highlighted at the top. The same as if I move over to the second one over here in the top right hand side you'll see that it moves over to the middle and the line goes around it etc etc. Okay. Uh, you also notice you don't have to click between going between terminals um, it all is done on the fly as soon as the mouse hovers over it becomes the active window whichever window that you happen to be in and whatever monitor you happen to be on uh, right so to close the terminal uh, shift windows key and followed by C uh, you can do this as many times as you'd like as well I'll try not to close this which is recording the current video uh, at the top if you click over here, you'll see I can minimize them. I haven't quite worked out how to uh, minimize from the keyboard, so if anybody does know how to do that, please let me know, because that's incredibly useful. Um, you can maximize, you can full screen by Windows key F, so if you want to bring one, fully say if you're looking at something and you want it to be in full screen, uh, and then Windows key F again to go back to where you were. Um, Windows key M as well uh, is another way uh, of full screening and you see when it does full screen you'll get a, a picture up here of a of an angel um, or some, some sort of white dove or whatever it is you like to call it but uh, that's the way that you know it's in full screen when it is in full screen it means that you cannot uh, change the aspect ratio of that particular window so that's good to look out for Right, so what I'm going to do is so if we use the at the top here, I use the mouse just to explain what I'm doing. There are nine different windows. Those windows can be moved backwards and forwards by using the left and right arrow keys, like so. So I've got my uh, the YouTube video coming up there. So um, that is how we open windows and close windows. If you look on the top right here, you can see uh, this image slash icon sort of displays uh, different modes and settings that you can use uh, currently at the moment. Uh, this particular one will allow me uh, to move different parts of the screen to the left and shove them to the right. You can see that the, there's the window sort of sizes is, is larger on the left and is thinner on the on the right hand side, which means that you can move from left to right opposed to right to left. I, you can do this. Doing this by using the the Windows key in H to go left and Windows key in L to go right, H and L like so. Same way as now it's flipped and rotated the other way around. You can see here. Go the other way around. So H brings this window smaller, L makes it larger. So you play around with this, there's lots of different options. If you use Windows key and space, you'll see that it will jump between all the different options, depending on what you want to do. So you get used to it quite quickly. Okay, so that is how we, we move move between each individual window. Uh, now, if we want to, we've got, say this, this here for instance, um, we want to jump between this window and then to this window, and then to this window, and then to this window. So we've got different things going. So I don't know, we've got a ping going over here. Uh, and then we want to skip over to this window. Now the way you do that is by using Windows key and J. The J will go through window one by one by one, from left to right, as you can see at the top there. 
So go from this one to go to this one. Let's say we want to list something, or we want to run a uh, trace route to to Google, for instance. Okay. So there's lots of uh, lots of different movement things that you can do depending on what it is you want to do. So say oh, I don't want that anymore. Uh, well, I say say we do want this one, but say um, we don't want it on this screen anymore. We want it on say window number three because we don't we use window one as our active window, um, but we don't actually need this up all the time. So what we can do, we look we can go to number three first. We see there's nothing on there. We're quite happy that that window number three is where we want it to go because in number two so it's already got something on it that you've got in full screen. So if you do shift windows key and three what it will do is it will move the active window that's currently on one that you have around to three like so. So now we're left with the other remaining windows which are on there. If we go to number three now we see it there on number three. Likewise if you've got multiple monitors and you've got Zynorama uh, active what you can do is you can move with windows key and O which you probably won't be able to see in this video because I don't have mo dual monitor support uh, set up on this capture video but you will it, I can promise you that it is jumping between another monitor and then back again so that's Windows key O. Uh, if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card what I mean by the Zynorama I think it's called I'll find out in a second yeah enable Zynorama this here or Zynorama a Cinerama of some sort of type of that 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 option there allows you uh, to jump between screens. And you'll notice here that there's a there's an error message that says xlib extension R and R missing on display zero. R and R uh, doesn't seem to work, which is uh, the x x render x R and R uh, doesn't seem to work correctly if you've got Zinorama kind of, um, currently enabled. So you know if you are seeing that message, it's probably because you've got this initiated but if, of course if you want this on then you know you won't be able to jump between screens that well so you know don't worry too much about that um, same way as oh, I close that I just reopen it Windows key enter so you open xrander it won't let me do it and the reason it won't let me do it is because I've got that Zynorama up there because I'm using the Nvidia settings uh, to do my resolution changing as opposed to that XR and R uh, to my you know from from googling and to my knowledge you know, I might be completely wrong about that but I know that is the reason why I can't do what I'm doing at the moment but if anybody knows a way that I can use the uh, uh, the, the X display way as well as the Nvidia one then please tell me because that would be incredibly useful um, it's pretty much it for the time being this is just uh, so how, how we jump to so Windows key enter to jump and to open a new screen Windows key J to jump between the two control shift uh, J will allow you. Uh, let me set the control shift J. Yeah, control control shift and J will allow you uh, to go between one monitor and your second monitor, so the second monitor and third monitor, opposed to Windows key O, which will allow you to move something from one active monitor to the other monitor. Um, and shift Windows key C to close a window. Uh, shift Windows key Q will close all of Awesome and bring you back uh, if you've got XDM running or GDM or KDM then it'll go back to uh, your display manager where you would log in again uh, and will completely close that so obviously I don't want to do that but that's something else you can do um, if you've got any problems with anything uh, that's pretty much it so I hope that was useful to somebody so I can come back to over to here if I control C this then that will be the end of the capture